The United Nations Program on Reducing Emissions from Deforestation and Forest Degradation or UN Red Program is a collaborative program of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations (FAO), the United Nations Development Program (UNDP), and the United Nations Environment Program (UNEP), created in 2008 in response to the UNFCCC decisions on the Bali Action Plan and Red at COP13. It should not be confused with Red Plus a voluntary climate change mitigation approach that has been developed by parties to the UNFCCC see below difference between red plus and the UN red program the overall development goal of the program is to reduce forest emissions and enhance carbon stocks in forests while contributing to national sustainable development the UN Red Program supports nationally led Red Plus processes and promotes the informed and meaningful involvement of all stakeholders, including indigenous peoples and other forest dependent communities, in national and international Red Plus implementation. The program has expanded steadily since its establishment and now has over 60 official partner countries spanning Africa, Asia Pacific, and Latin America Caribbean. In addition to the UN Red Program, other initiatives assisting countries that are engaged in Red Plus include the World Bank's Forest Carbon. Partnership Facility, Norway's International Climate and Forest Initiative, the Global Environment Facility, Australia's International Forest Carbon Initiative, the Collaborative Partnership on Forests, and the Green Climate Fund. The UN Red Programme publicly releases each year an annual programme progress report and a semi-annual report. Topic: <laughs> Support to partner countries. The UN Red Program supports its partner countries through direct funding and technical support to the design and implementation of national Red Plus programs, complementary tailored funding and technical support to national Red Plus actions, and technical country capacity enhancing support through sharing of expertise, common approaches, analyses, methodologies, tools, data, best practices, and facilitated South South knowledge sharing. Topic. Governance The UN Red Programme's 2016-2020 governance arrangements allow for the full and effective participation of all UN Red Programme stakeholders, partner countries, donors, indigenous peoples, civil society organizations, participating UN agencies, while ensuring streamlined decision-making processes and clear lines of accountability. The governance arrangements are built on and informed by five principles: inclusiveness, transparency, accountability, consensus-based decisions, and participation. UN Red Programme 2016 to 2020 governance arrangements include Topic Executive Board The UN Red Programme Executive Board has general oversight for the program taking decisions on the allocation of the UN Red Programme fund resources It meets biannually or more frequently as required to efficiently carry out its roles and responsibilities Assembly The UN Red Programme Assembly is a broad multi-stakeholder forum with the role to foster consultation, dialogue and knowledge exchange among UN Red Programme stakeholders. National Steering Committees National steering committees facilitate strong country ownership and shared, common decision-making for national Red Plus programs, and include representatives of civil society and indigenous peoples. Each national steering committee provides oversight for national programs, addressing any delays, changes or reorientation of a program and ensuring alignment with and delivery of results as expected and approved by the executive board. Multi-party Trust Fund Office The Multi-Party Trust Fund Office provides real-time funding administration to the UN Red Program. Topic: 2016 to 2020 Strategic Framework 
The work of the UN RED program is guided by its 2016 to 2020 strategic framework with the goal to reduce forest emissions and enhance carbon stocks in forests while contributing to national sustainable development. In order to realize its goal and target impacts, the program has set three outcomes and supporting outputs for its 2016 to 2020 work program. Contributions of RED Plus to the mitigation of climate change as well as to the provision of additional benefits have been designed. Country contributions to the mitigation of climate change though RED Plus are measured, reported and verified and necessary institutional arrangements are in place. RED Plus contributions to the mitigation of climate change are implemented and safeguarded with policies and measures that constitute results-based actions, including the development of appropriate and effective institutional arrangements. Additionally, the program has identified four important cross-cutting themes as being particularly significant in order to ensure that the outcomes and outputs of the program will achieve results as desired: stakeholder engagement, forest governance, tenure security, and gender equality. Topic. Donors The UN RED program depends entirely on voluntary funds. Donors to the UN RED program have included the European Commission and governments of Denmark, Japan, Luxembourg, Norway, Spain and Switzerland—with Norway providing a significant portion of the funds. Topic. Transparency. The UN RED program adheres to the belief that information is fundamental to the effective participation of all stakeholders, including the public, in the advancement of RED Plus efforts around the world. Information sharing promotes transparency and accountability and enables public participation in RED Plus activities. The collaborating UN agencies of the UN RED program, FAO, UNEP, and UNDP, are committed to making information about the program and its operations available to the public in the interest of transparency. As part of this commitment, the program publishes annual and semi annual program progress reports and provides online public access to real time funding administration. Topic. Difference between RED Plus and the UN RED program RED Plus is a voluntary climate change mitigation approach that has been developed by parties to the UNFCCC. It aims to incentivize developing countries to reduce emissions from deforestation and forest degradation, conserve forest carbon stocks, sustainably manage forests and enhance forest carbon stocks. The United Nations Collaborative Program on Reducing Emissions from Deforestation and Forest Degradation in Developing Countries, or UN RED Program, is a multilateral body. It partners with developing countries to support them in establishing the technical capacities needed to implement RED Plus and meet UNFCCC requirements for RED Plus results-based payments. It does so through a country-based approach that provides advisory and technical support services tailored to national circumstances and needs. The UN RED program is a collaborative program of the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization (FAO), the United Nations Development Program (UNDP), and the United Nations Environment Program (UNEP) and harnesses the technical expertise of these UN agencies. Other examples of Red Plus multilaterals include the Forest Carbon Partnership Facility and Forest Investment Program, hosted by the World Bank. Topic. See also: Voluntary Partnership Agreements, Red.